Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sierra. For those of you who are new here, welcome. And if you're an old subscriber, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's upload as I just wanted to make something different, right? So the cookouts are over and done with for the most part. Um, everybody is like looking for just new recipes. Look no further. So with the... Um, fall season coming up I thought what better way to do a fall recipe than to like go to this so let's come up off of those grills and come and grab those crock pots all right y'all so I got my crock pot right here this is a six quart um, oval um, crock pot it's um, big enough to feed seven plus people I think I got this at Kroger for about 30 to 40 dollars but anyways, nonetheless, now that I have my crock pot, um, I'm gonna be making slow cooker baby back ribs barbecue style. Um, so these slow cooker barbecue baby back ribs are seriously delicious and so tender. They fall right off the bone beautifully and melt in your mouth. They are seasoned with a homemade dry rub rib um, like seasonings. Um, it's slow cooked for six hours until tender and broiled with your favorite barbecue sauce. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is get ready to go over here and check on my ribs to see if they are thawed out. Charles thawed them out this morning before he left. So it's been about three hours and surprisingly, I think that they are ready. All right, so if I touch them they are definitely thawed out it's bendable um yeah they're definitely thawed out the juices are starting to thaw out as well i'm gonna turn it over on this side check oh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wash these off and then i need to get ready to remove them in. all right so i'm gonna come over to my seasoning cabinet and go through and find all of the seasonings that i will need for that dry rub um season Okay, so I finally <laughs> am ready to make this. I had to run out to Food Lion to get um, one of my ingredients, which is gonna be chili powder. Um, I also need onion powder. I also need garlic powder. I'm also using smoked paprika. I will also be using brown sugar salt, black pepper, and cumin. So, um, I'm gonna go back over to my sink now that I finally got that ingredient um, and wash off the ribs and pull the uh, membrane off the back side of the ribs and then work on the front. Okay, so the back membrane is finally off. Um, I started over on this side and went over to this side really gently. Um, I'm now gonna pat them dry with a paper towel.
All right, we're gonna put these to the side and I'm gonna mix up in this bowl those seasonings. All right, so I'm gonna be adding in one teaspoon of all of these items. Okay, so there we have it. There's our dry seasoning that we're gonna put onto the ribs. We're gonna evenly distribute this and then pat it dry over the ribs on both sides. All right, y'all, so here are the ribs. They are nice and seasoned on both sides and, of course, on the outer sides. Um, this is the part where I took the membrane off so that you can just see the bone on this one. But if only y'all could smell it, you'd be saying the same thing I said. So I'm going to get ready to move these into the slow cooker um, or a crock pot. Um, and I'm going to line it up in a curl. And then I'm going to add in some things, and I'll show you guys that. All right, y'all, so I got tired of, you know, being upset that I haven't got out on the grill yet. So I decided to pull out my crock pot. All right, so I've pulled the crock pot out. First, we're going to get everything together before um, I transfer it because it's a crowded space over there. Anyways, let me get some gloves to put the ribs in. Alright, I do not want any seasonings on my hand. I literally want every bit of this in here. Okay, so we need half of a cut onion. We need half a cup of water. We'll need two cloves of garlic. I'm just going to go ahead and use the minced garlic with what I have. Um, so I will just get ready to toss that right in here. I'm going to go ahead and use all of this and put it into the crock pot. Pour in that half a cup of water. And now I'm gonna slice up the onions really quickly. All 
All right, so I'm gonna get ready to close the lid and let these cook on low for six hours. Let me give you guys some tips while we're waiting on that six hours to pass by. The type of ribs that you want to use um, can be one of the three. Baby back ribs, which is recommended, St. Louis style ribs, or the spare ribs. If you do um, the total opposite of like what I showed you by using the St. Louis spare style ribs, you um, it's going to be less meaty than baby back ribs and more fatty. Um, bones are going to be larger, so you'll be needing a bigger slow cooker or crock pot and you'll cook it for an additional one to two hours just depending on the size if you do it the other way which is the spare ribs way they're going to be larger more meaty and longer bones so you'll definitely need a larger um crock pot or slow cooker and um you're just going to have to try to cook it for more than um up to eight hours uh, so just like another tip is to remember to remove the membrane in the back of the ribs before cooking just run a sharp knife along um, between the meat and just like the top layer of the membrane to split it and separate it and then pull it off with your hands you got yeah so another tip is to use a six quart slow cooker for a three to four pound rack of ribs it doesn't matter like if it's round or oval um, just as long as you can comfortably fit all of the um, rack of ribs into your slow, cook, slow cooker or crock pot um, and then to make sure that the lid can close carefully as well if your slow cooker is not big enough cut it into two or three pieces and then just rearrange them um, the best way that you can when cooking um, if you're having trouble getting the ribs out of the slow cooker or the crock pot try cutting it into two to three equal pieces and then like just lift the the ribs from the bottom using like a large spatula um, if you're cooking two ribs at the same time yes you can do that you can use an oval shaped eight ounce quart um, slow cooker to fit two racks of ribs in there at the same time but you just double the amount of rub um, which just means that you do um, two teaspoons of everything except for the salt which you're gonna do four of um, and then just cooking time remains the same prep ahead of um, tips is that you can do the dry rub up to one month in advance just to have it ready um, you can even like make it and Put it to the side even sell it if you want to so now you know um in storage store the leftovers in a sealed container in the refrigerator for up to three days um, and you can use your favorite barbecue sauce um if you would like to my favorite barbecue sauce is sweet baby ray's barbecue sauce um it's just something that you know i like to have on there so i'm gonna try it plain as dry rub first and then um if i don't like it without like the barbecue sauce that's when i'll add my barbecue sauce so i'll see you guys in six hours now that the six hours has been up i went ahead and turned my crock pot off and just to show you guys what the ribs are going to look like straight after the six hours you can do it up to six and a half hours if you choose to if you have more than three pounds you just add an hour um so if this was a four pound ribs um, I would have to cook this for seven hours. Now that it is done, it is definitely falling off the bone. I am now have to transfer it to a um, baking sheet where I can add the barbecue sauce if I choose to. I'm gonna choose not to and just eat these as the dry rub ribs. This is what's gonna be at the bottom of your crock pot once it is all done. Here are the barbecue slow cooker ribs that I made in the slow cooker slash crock pot today. I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing.